What's going on YouTube? Welcome to another video. In today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to assemble an engine block. Okay, so I just got my rods back from the machine shop. Um, some of the bushings were okay. I think one was kind of off, but um, the guy at the machine shop said it should be all right. He honed one of them, which I wish, I think it was this one. The piston, the wrist pin didn't even want to go in, but he got it honed out and uh, it's, it's ready to go. So I'm gonna be putting these pistons in first and then I'll keep you guys updated along the way. So these uh, piston rods are used. That's why they're marked one, two, and three. Uh, you don't have to get used ones. You can obviously buy brand new ones. Uh, since this is a budget build, I just went ahead and bought some used uh, rods. Pistons are new. Um, you don't have to mark them, but whenever you do the piston ring gap, you have to make sure that that piston goes to that same, um, the same, what you gonna call it, the same cylinder that it, you, know, you put it in, you gapped it in. So if you gap this, uh, the rings that uh, cylinder one, and then you assemble this piston, this can only go in cylinder one now. All right. So things you're gonna need, it's gonna be obviously the piston rods, pistons, C clips, and this assembly lube. This is the one I chose. I've seen it, uh, other YouTubers use it, and uh, I'm just gonna give it a try, see how it is. So first thing you wanna do, obviously, is get your pistons out. Let's put these all over here. Take the wrist pin out. So as I've heard a lot of people saying, there's like a little notch here. I'm not sure if you can see it, see it but there's a notch in this side of the rod uh, what I've heard is that this side is supposed to go wherever the exhaust sits at. So in your piston, you have these, uh, where the um, the valve, uh, it's just to, to, to tell you where the valves go. So this one will be the intake. It says right there, that's right there, in for intake. And the smaller one will be for the exhaust. So uh, these are for intake because they're a bit bigger. And these are for exhaust because they're smaller. Your, obviously your exhaust valves are smaller than the intake valves. That's where they're this way. So you want to make sure that notch is sitting. So this is the exhaust here, sitting like this. Yep, just like that. Okay, so don't forget your notch. Notch is here. Here it is. Look at this. And these pistons, they only go. Uh, the piston, there's not the uh, where this sits only goes in one way. Kind of hard to go in there. Okay. Well, actually, it goes in both ways. <laughs> I guess I didn't have enough lube when I first put it the first time. Get it all cleaned up. Get your C clips. You should have eight of them. If not, then you need to call whoever you bought them from. Right. All right, so I was questioning myself how these piss these clips go in because they're not I wouldn't really consider them C clips because usually C clips um they have like uh like two holes where you can compress the ring and snap it in there but this is a lot different but I was looking online on YouTube and found uh what's his name motor nubs I believe these you have to stretch them out let me see if I can search and then once you stretch them out you kind of just guide it in there let me see how I, how I can get these out of here Wait, I can get in it. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure how far off we're supp I'm supposed to stretch it, so hopefully I don't break it. Okay, here it is. So there's a bit of a stretch. I guess I'll stretch some more. Oh, 
All right, so here's a bit of a stretch. Let's see how we can get it in there. I'm gonna have to stretch it some more. I just don't wanna break it, so just be really careful because there's only eight of them. Right, so it's pretty stretched out. This is how it is. Just a regular clip, and now here you stretched out some. It's kinda hard to get it in there though. Okay, so I got it somehow started in there. I guess just push it in. It's almost in there. I need like a screwdriver or something. See, I got it in there. There you go. Okay. There it is. There's the first one. So for the next one, do the same thing. Take your, uh, your ring or your clip. It's really hard to get these things. Uh, okay, here it is. Take it like that. Stretch it out. Roughly about this much. And then get started. Just kind of guide it through. There you go. And here it is, the first piston. It's in there. Make sure to, well, I guess you guys don't have to. I do though. But if you have used pistons and they mark them, just make sure that it doesn't erase the one or the two. That way you don't have no, no hiccups along the way. I'm gonna go ahead and install the other three. Um, you already saw the one for, or this one, so I'm just gonna do a, like a time lapse, and uh, for the rest of them. Okay guys, so here are all the pistons. Now with the, uh, I wouldn't even call them C-clips. They're more of a, uh, I don't even know the words to say it. But here they are. They're all in. They're a bit hard to get in at first, but uh, once you get the hang of it, once you get you know your first one in, the other ones will be easier as far as thinking, but pressing them in is a bit hard. You kind of have to just guide it in. You get the tip of it and you start guiding it in. And you start just using your finger, and it'll start clipping on until you get the last until you get the last bit of the uh, clip in, and it'll go in. I'm not exactly sure uh, what these clips are are named, or what's the name of the clips. I'm not sure if they're like called spring clips or or uh, or stretch uh, pins. I'm not I'm not 100% sure, but um, they're definitely not C clips, but they're in. And uh, they came in good, they went in good, no issues. Everything seems to be fine, everything seems to be moving perfectly. So just keep that in mind that whenever you buy, uh, these are uh, Nippon pistons. Let me see if I find the box here it is. Here's a box, Nippon Racing 81 and a half. My, my, my block got bored out. <clears throat> but just keep that in mind, whenever you buy these Nippon pistons, they're gonna come with the clips. So, or at least with this style clip, 
But another thing is, whenever you do, if you do end up buying uh, Nippon or Nippon, what uh, I'm not sure exactly how you call it, just make sure that they have clips because I believe there's they sell a set is the exact same, but they're um, pressed in uh, wrist pins, and, and so it doesn't have clips. So you, I think those you have to take to the machine shop. That would be an extra cost that you really don't. Uh, or, you know, something you don't want to spend your money on. You can just buy these with the clips and you can do them yourself instead of putting the pressed in pins and having, you know, just saving a bit of money there.